Well, just as expected, some showers and a few storms have been rolling through the wire grass this evening for Independence Day, but nothing too widespread. Most of it was pretty light. There it is moving through Henry County into Dale County. Now it's in Coffee and Covington counties. Looks like northern Geneva County was affected by that a little bit earlier, but it's starting to really settle down. The rest of the wire grass is pretty much dry. There's a cell north. Uh, northeast of Eufaula. That's going to continue to move off to the west and not impact us. As far as our temperatures for tonight, it's pretty mild for a lot of locations. A little bit cooler for Enterprise because of the showers a little bit earlier in the day and a little bit earlier in the evening, but we will all be able to cool off likely into the lower to middle 70s by tomorrow morning. It's going to be a pretty good pool day in the afternoon. A few thunderstorms will be with us. High temperatures will be in the lower 90s with rain chance anywhere between 30 and 40%. Most of us will miss out on the rain, but certainly keep an eye to the sky if you do have outdoor plans. In the tropics, we do have an update from the systems that we are monitoring for potential development. The first one is a little closer to us, not going to be an, any kind of impact to the United States. It has a 50% chance of developing over the next five days, and it's likely going to trek in between Bermuda and the east coast of the U.S., but it's something that's a little bit more concerning now has a better chance of developing over the next five days. This area in the central Atlantic has a 70% chance of developing into something tropical over the next five days. The upper air pattern is going to be a little bit more conducive of developing as it does move to the west over the next five days. Here are the uh, model plots taking it toward the northern Caribbean, including Puerto Rico and uh, the greater Antilles. So that's going to be something that we're going to be watching. But the good news is by the time it's here, making its way into the lesser Antilles, the upper air pattern is going to be a little bit less conducive of strong storms, so it could still be something to watch, but it shouldn't be anything too, too strong for them to worry about at this time. We will be watching it pretty carefully. Across the southeast, still some showers and a few thunderstorms. Some strong storms make their way through the mid-south into Memphis, but nothing for us in our neck of the woods. Just those lingering showers and storms. As we head through the day tomorrow, those rain chances will be returning, starting off with a mostly clear sky for tonight and early tomorrow morning. Lower 70s for our wake-up temperatures heading out the door into the afternoon. That's when we'll have those pockets of some rain moving through. High temperatures in the lower 90s for us and cooling off into the 70s as we head into the mid-evening hours. And then for Friday morning, starting off with that clear sky. And then in the afternoon, those rain chances will be developing for us again. Rain chances right around 40%. Also, the sea breeze front will be having an impact on that forecast as well as that moisture coming across from the Atlantic. Closer to home for tonight, temperatures certainly staying mild for the most part. 70s for us to uh, head out the door. Upper 80s to lower 90s expected for tomorrow afternoon. Then once the rain moves through, we will have those showers and storms in the area that will cool those temperatures off quite a bit. That will just add moisture to the atmosphere and that will make those heat index temperatures a bit of a concern then for Friday afternoon with those rain chances moving through. For tonight, we'll be clearing out temperatures in the lower to middle 70s and we'll be warming up into the lower 90s for tomorrow afternoon, right at 90 degrees for us here in Dothan. If you want to head to the beach, we're going to be looking at pretty decent conditions down there. I think rip currents should still be a concern there. We have that pretty persistent easterly breeze with those high temperatures in the lower 80s down there. A little bit of thunderstorm activity could be possible for you. Same thing for us as we head through the next several days here in Dothan. Rain chances will be increasing as we head into Saturday and Sunday and Monday of next week. You can see upwards of, say, a couple of inches of rain with that. And then next week, those rain chances will settle down just a little bit. But those, it will help those temperatures to heat up a bit. 93 degrees for the high on Wednesday. It will be feeling like uh, close to 100 degrees. Ooh. So we're getting into the dog days of summer. But the good news is with those higher rain chances for the weekend, temperatures will be in check as far as those highs in the upper 80s. You know